My name is Dr. Sherry Simon. I'm the Pax Christi State Coordinator for Arkansas and the founder of Pax Christi Little Rock. 2022 marks the 50th anniversary of Pax Christi USA. So in keeping with our theme of weaving a tapestry of peace, I want to share some of the history of Pax Christi Little Rock, one of the many threads that makes up our peace and social justice movement. Pax Christi Little Rock was founded on December 5th, 2016. Over the course of the past five years, we have focused constantly on the process of prayer, study, and action to guide us in our efforts to actualize the nonviolence taught in the gospel of Jesus Christ. I'd like to give you an example of how following this model has led to the wonderful growth of Pax Christi Little Rock. In our initial organizational process, our core membership prayed together for direction and purpose. In the very beginning, prayer led us to the idea of establishing a monthly speaker series as a way to study the different areas of peace building already going on around us. So we invited various individuals and organizations to meet with us and share the different ways that they've worked towards peace and social justice in our city, state, and country. One of our first speakers was the director of Jericho Way, a local day center for the unsheltered in our community. During her presentation, Janet Nelson held up a black plastic garbage bag and noted that this was often the only way that folks at Jericho Way had of storing all of their material possessions. One of our board members was inspired during that presentation and proposed that Pox Christie make up 100 backpacks filled with hygiene articles and other necessities that Jericho Way could pass out to the folks who came there. So we completed that project and then almost immediately were made aware of the needs for school supplies in local public elementary schools in Little Rock. Pox Christie pivoted to provide over 300 backpacks filled with school supplies to the school in most need, Rockefeller Elementary, that very first year. This project has grown to the point where we donate supplies to five Catholic and public schools across the state with, with a budget of around $18,000. This has become our most significant project each year and has led us to involve many volunteers from local churches to assist in the construction of the backpacks and their contents. This ever-expanding action came directly from the process of prayer and study. In addition to this project, we involve our Peace Partner Schools in Peace Week activities held in September each year. Activities include peace marches, journaling and reading about peace, art projects on the theme of peace, and competitions between classrooms to raise money for various charities. We have also turned our original hygiene bags into a project wherein we assist different church youth groups in constructing the bags. We then donate these bags to Jericho Way and other organizations that provide for the unsheltered. Two years ago, Pox Christi developed a food pantry project after inviting the leaders of Settled Souls to speak with us in our speaker series. Settled Souls is an organization that provides furnishings to assist in the sheltering of three to four individuals and families each month. Pox Christi members began assembling startup food pantries for each of these individuals, and we have one of our members accompany the MOVE team to both participate in the MOVE and provide the fresh, canned, and staple foods often missing in the diet of those who've been without shelter. Pox Christi Little Rock volunteers made three trips to Puerto Rico to help rehab homes and agricultural land after Hurricane Maria struck the island territory. We worked with Casa Solidaria and Proyecto Matria in the towns of Umacao and Miraflores to demold homes, paint, rehab roofs, and clean up the rubble left outside of homes. Our volunteers also helped reclaim land for agricultural purposes, working to clear the land and plant crops that could be sold for profit by the people of the towns. Over the past three years, Pox Christi Little Rock has organized the Pilgrimage for Peace that takes place each year on the Sunday after Easter. 
This event is a coalition of interfaith and community organizations who come together to mourn the violence committed in our community and in the world and walk together as active peacemakers. Last year, over 100 people joined our one mile pilgrimage from Little Rock over a bridge to North Little Rock, ending in a memorial service where the names of all who died at the hands of violence in Pulaski County were read. Representatives from different faiths and many of our peace partners shared prayers, inspirational readings, and music during the memorial. Most recently, based on the concern for the violence that was occurring in Afghanistan and the influx of refugees into our country when the U.S. forces departed Afghanistan last August, Pax Christi members formed a care team and partnered with Christ the King Catholic Church to sponsor an Afghan family and help them resettle in this country. The process of resettlement generally takes over a year and our team will be involved with this family until they are adequately equipped to support themselves. In addition to these major projects, Pax Christi Little Rock also joins its peace partners during specific times throughout the year to mark occasions such as the World Day of Peace, Martin Luther King Day, the anniversary of the bombing of Hiroshima and Nagasaki, and Peace Week. Engagement in these projects and many others has led to community involvement and the establishment of relationships with over 50 peace partners in the past five years. The most beautiful, and perhaps most unexpected outcome of our work is the bonding that has taken place between the members of our movement. It is absolutely amazing to be a part of this group of people who have said yes to the most difficult of tasks and have helped one another through some very trying times. Pax Christi Little Rock has been blessed with experiencing the peace that grows in hearts working together in the service of others. And we are so thankful to be part of Pax Christi USA, an organization that supports us in our efforts and provides inspiration as we weave our individual threads that come together to form this tapestry of peace that graces our world.